What would happen if a kung fu fighter enters boxing? Welcome to Ackerman Recap. Today, let's take a look at the journey to become a boxing champion for Retsu. Retsu is seeking a way to join the nearby boxing club. He aspires to be trained as a professional boxer, but the gym owner is deeply concerned due to his missing leg. The owner tests Retsu by instructing him to unleash his full force on a sandbag, but Retsu is afraid it will shatter. The old man chuckles and says that if Retsu can do it, he will permit personal training. Retsu stands firm, then strikes the sandbag with a powerful punch, resulting in a loud explosion. The once disdainful room, which looked down on his disability, now turns to respect and admiration. The owner's boxing gym features a highly renowned figure, Mani, who has never lost in any professional match. Manny challenges Retsu to a fight, but his challenge is rejected due to the stark physical difference between them. People doubt that Kung Fu can overcome boxing, and Retsu aims to broaden their perspectives. While Mani continues to bounce around, Retsu remains still. Suddenly, Mani launches a punch, but Retsu's speed is too fast. He takes a direct hit to the nose, rendering him unconscious. Retsu requests the trainer to find him another opponent. On the other side is a fighter in the same weight class, a heavyweight expert. With a history of nine matches, only the first one didn't end in a knockout. All the rest resulted in his opponents being knocked out cold. His reputation is truly formidable. As the other fighter surpasses Retsu in all aspects such as strength, speed, and boxing skills, Retsu doesn't need to dwell on his opponent's abilities, but can instead focus on fighting with all his might. The trainer, fearing for Retsu's life, puts a helmet on him, though it's probably unnecessary. Retsu senses the power from his opponent, easily outweighing him by more than 20 pounds, with incredibly fluid movements. The opponent's long arms give him a considerable reach, making his punches strike from a distance. In the blink of an eye, Retsu is punched and sent flying backward onto the mat. Retsu feels the opponent's speed is remarkable, but his punches are quite feeble. This is due to boxers usually wearing gloves, which creates a significant gap between their knuckles and the fist's core. Retsu uses his head to block the opponent's punches. The skull is the hardest and thickest part of the body. An untrained punch would undoubtedly shatter upon impact. Retsu begins his offensive, targeting the opponent's arm muscles as his primary focus. The history of kung fu boxing has now officially commenced. Retsu remains the same, standing for hours on end, gazing at the wall. Kaiser is renowned as a promoter of professional boxing, and today he has come a long way to be present for an important match. Kaiser enters the room along with a heavyweight boxer who had previously lost a fight. In over 40 years in the profession, Kaiser has never seen such beautifully sculpted muscles. While training, Kaiser's noise interrupts Retsu, prompting him to scold Kaiser. The celebrity bows his head in apology, and Kaiser requests permission for Retsu to witness that incredible strength. Retsu steps up, wearing the largest gloves preparing to unleash a punch in the style of boxing. He exerts force, and the gloves tear apart. Everyone knows that leather gloves will never tear, no matter how hard the punch. Kaiser greatly admires the beauty within Retsu's strength. He raises the torn glove and asks, who else can achieve what Retsu just did, breaking a glove with a single punch? The entire training room gazes in silence. This is the true battle where the 150-year-old boxing confronts the 4,000-year-old Chinese martial arts. Kaiser promises to lead Retsu to face formidable opponents, inviting them to come to the United States. Retsu, he has arrived in the U.S. Now is the time for him to compete against the reigning champion. Standing at 200 Xadim Sipiti Mediates tall and weighing 151 ko, the champion outweighs Retsu by 1.5 times. Kaiser claims that a kung fu practitioner standing here will humiliate the world of boxing. Retsu counters saying that, in boxing's 150-year history, they only focus on muscles, and the bigger the body, the smaller the brain. Kaiser presents stones for both fighters to demonstrate their abilities. Andre easily shatters them with punches, while Retsu's wave of the hand turns them into powder. The match begins, and the champion possesses a massive physique with remarkably agile legs. Retsu stands at a corner, a strategically dangerous position in this arena. Andre eagerly initiates an attack with a lightning fast punch, which Retsu manages to dodge. Then, he disappears and delivers a one inch punch that ends the fight. Retsu's next opponent is this individual, Joe, also known as the Smoke. He attacks his opponent and vanishes like a wisp of smoke. His techniques are very powerful. Standing at 180 centimeter tall and weighing 92 kilo, 
he launches a barrage of attacks at Retsu, but Retsu manages to block them all. A powerful left hook lands, leaving Retsu dazed and collapsing to the canvas. Retsu feels everything like a haze of smoke. He has experienced this sensation before from his master. The master explained that when the human brain gets shaken, it feels similar to this. To dissipate the impact, one must turn with it. Retsu follows his master's guidance and rotates his body to evade the blow. If he had taken it directly, he would have collapsed once again. Without giving Retsu a chance to recover, Joe quickly moves and initiates another series of punches. Once again, Retsu falls down, his mind continuously wavering. He recalls the teachings of his master, Kaku, and decides to punch himself in the head. He manages to regain his composure and delivers a powerful right hook, followed by a left jab, causing his opponent to stagger. Retsu launches a continuous assault, leaving his opponent struggling to defend. He leaps up and delivers a strong punch, causing Joe to fall, only to rise again. Both fighters exchange blows, showcasing their determined will to win. Retsu decides to utilize a technique from Chinese martial arts, delivering a forceful punch beneath his opponent's nose. This is a spot that, if struck, makes it difficult to stand up. True enough, this time, his opponent is truly defeated. The current champion congratulates Retsu on his victory. In Retsu's hands lies the heavyweight championship belt, and he declares to the media that Kung Fu has triumphed over boxing.